In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create and manage volunteer teams, Sunday school classes, and other types of groups and teams you may need to manage for your church or organization. To start, we're going to go to the People section on the left-hand side. You'll select Overview, and then you'll select Groups and Teams. This will take you to the list of groups and teams you currently have established. Today, we'll be creating a new group or team. To do so, we'll select New Group or Team in the right-hand side. We have four options of the type of group or team that we're wanting to create. There's basic group or team, there's a connect group for things like small groups, there's a contact list, or a team. If you need to create a new type of group or team, you can do so by selecting the drop down menu on the right hand side of groups and teams and selecting add new definition. So for the sake of this example, we'll create a new team. We'll call this team our welcome team. On the left hand side, I can add positions, whether it be a leader, co-leader, uh, assistant, various types of roles you may have for new people who are in positions within this team. Underneath that, you'll have an option for request group reports. This is gonna be key for anyone who is in a position who may need to be able to request a group report for attendance for various events for this group. And you can search contacts to add people to that role underneath that by searching contacts. You can also add members to the group by selecting members. And then you can search down here on the bottom where underneath group members, and you can add people to this team. There's a box in the middle here that says allow provisional members. This is going to be key for groups who you'll be using for check-in stations as this allows people to join or leave groups without admin approval. And this is also important for those who are on mailing list as this also allows people to join mailing list groups or to unsubscribe from those mailing list groups. So if you're using it for check-in or mailing list, you're gonna wanna make sure allow provisional membership is selected for this group or team. If you have anyone awaiting approval for a group or team, you'll see them in the interested section here on the left-hand side. You can also view your metrics for the group and you can edit your position notifications of the notifications that get sent when somebody joins a group leaves a group, information gets updated, or other various options you have to receive notifications. Another way to interact with your groups or teams is going to be to do so in the Volunteers tab on the left-hand side. You can go Volunteers, and then you can select Teams, and here we have another list of your groups and teams. You can select the Teams drop-down to go into the various types of groups and teams that you have within your organization. Mm -hmm.